do a cut in the dam and all that kind of stuff? I don't know. It just depends. It just depends on, see the flow used to come this way. It does come. It still comes. There's still flow that comes through there and drops down through and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But it wouldn't, it that's wouldn't all take. for the equipment. And yeah, I see that one crankshaft. You would have to put a, uh, a totally different system in there because that, that's, That's made, all the old original woods folks oh, and wood bearings. There's that uh, soft shell, look. <laughs> he is huge. Yep. It sure got some good timbers in it. It was built it's good. It was built mighty good. Well, they're gonna have some kind of get together or this has done been out here for a while. Well, that, we just keep those on there. Those on there all year. I noticed they was doing some surveying, so that yeah. what, that's what got my attention that he might be getting ready to do uh, something. You know, that that's one of those deals. It could. It's just how fast uh, he wants to do it. But then again, this ain't the only uh, mill that he owns. That's you know, there's another one that he owns. He's quite the entrepreneur, isn't he? Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff going on. Started way back. Well, I appreciate you showing me. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what goes down. Yeah, he's got a... He's got several projects in the work right now. Maybe a while before he does anything. I heard this was a possibility of a real nice restaurant. It, I guess time will tell. They would have to uh, completely redo the place in order to. I mean, it, it would have to be torn completely down and rebuilt. Right. To, to do anything like that. It's just not in the, not in the way right now to make that a, a feasible thing. Well, at least he's preserving it. Yeah. Keeping it from getting tore down. Green. Unclear by. Giacomo Bologna, August 5, 2016. Unused and locked up. Ozark's 19th century mill represents a bygone time for a rural town that's become increasingly suburban. But some are hoping the mill could once again become an important feature of Ozark. Johnny Morris, founder and president of Base Pro Shops. Bought Ozark's old mill more than two decades ago with a dream to develop it, according to a company spokesman. In recent years Morris has snapped up a few more properties near the Finley River in the historic mill. And in July, Ozark City leadership met with neighbors of the mill who were concerned about possible developments at the mill. But Base Pro's Director of Communications, Jack Lezin, said that's not an indication that anything is being planned for the mill. He said developing the mill is not a priority at the moment, according to the Christian County Assessor's Office. A company called the Ozark Mill owns 14 properties around and including the Ozark Mill. Records from the Missouri Secretary of State show the Ozark Mill is located at Base Pro Shops, headquarters. The mill and several other properties were bought more than two decades ago. However, records from the Assessor's Office show a string of recent purchases. The Ozark Mill bought two nearby plots in 2012, one in 2014, another in October and then one as recently as March, records show. Ozark City Administrator Steve Childers said it's no secret that Base Pro Shops owns the historic mill. Everybody has always wanted to see something done to the old mill, Childers said, noting that he would like to see more use of the Finley River. That guy, Morris, is extraordinarily creative. Late last month. Childers met with concerned residents who lived near the mill to clear up rumors and answer questions, he said. One of those residents in attendance was Andy Robinson. Robinson said in June tours of the mill were being given at the Sunset Soiree, a public event held at the Finley River, and those tours gave the appearance that there were more imminent plans for development. About 25 residents attended the meeting, Robinson said, noting that the possible development of the mill has piqued people's interest. Residents were curious about the effect on traffic or property values if the mill is developed, he said. Robinson added that whether the mill area would be designated as blotted property for tax purposes was also discussed. 
So what does the mill mean to Ozark? Wayne Glenn is a local historian who has written 13 books about Christian County and the surrounding area. He said Ozark was originally centered around the mill. Before the Civil War there was an important trail that came down from Springfield to Forsyth, Glenn said. Wagon Road crossed over the Finley River at the site of the mill, he said, that has been the center of the economic development of Ozark ever since. In fact, the town was originally named Hoover's Mill in 1839 after the mill's owner, John Hoover, Glenn said, and a year later, Hoover's Mill became the town of Ozark. I think it would be wonderful if the mill were utilized, Glenn said. He said he's spoken to Morris twice in his life, and one of those times they discussed the old mill. According to Glenn, one of the reasons Morris has an interest in that area is because at one point his parents lived within a stone's throw of the mill. The mill is where his mama brought him home to, Glenn said. I'm biased, but I think where I grew up here in the Ozarks is one of the most beautiful places in America without any question. Between the, the Table Rock Lake, Bullshar Lake, the White River Basin, the White River Chain of Lakes is an amazing resource in and of itself. We're not only going to have golf legends participate, but also these fishing legends like Bill Dance and Kevin Van Dam, shooting legends and other outdoor sports celebrities. Certainly it's going to be fun for all these fans and people in the region and to be able to come and see these, to many of them their heroes in different sports. We're excited about it. We're very proud, you know, where we live and